I'm now going to show you how to um, finish up your canvas um, and put the D-rings on the back so you can hang it up. Now often when you buy a canvas you get these little packets of wedges that you put in the corners and these are if the canvas at some point goes a bit slack you're meant to be able to tap these in a bit further and it stretch, stretches the canvas again. Now, I've never really had to do that but you can put them in anyway. Now when I first got these I thought what on earth? So but it is quite simple. If you look the slots at the back, look at the lower slot and put that one in first. So the lower slot is here. And if you get your straight edge, and the straight edge is away from the slot, this one at the end, and the straight edge there goes along the side. So you just put it in the little slot and then push it in. Then you do the same for this side. So you've got your slanty end near the corner, the straight end away from the corner and the straight end there, there. And it should slot in there. Well, that one's not going to, of course, because I'm videoing it. <laughs> Let's try this one. I might have to just push that down slightly while I get it in that slot. But yeah, there we go. Right to push it right to the side and then in. And that's how you put the, the corners in. Now the D-rings, you can get single ones like this. Or you can get double ones, more heavy duty ones like this. And obviously that depends on the size of your picture and how heavy it is. Uh, these ones will be fine because this is quite a light canvas. So these would do the trick. So I've got those in two screws. got my awl which will make a hole and make it easier to screw them in and my screwdriver and then I've also got some of this um, picture cord there's different thicknesses as well of that so that depends also on the weight of your your painting first thing I would do this one is a blank canvas but check that you've got it the right way up because it's very annoying if you do, you think you've got it the right way up and then you do it and then you realise you haven't. Now I usually put it maybe a third of the way down or slightly a, you know not quite a third of the way down. Sometimes I just guess to be honest so let's do it about here make a little mark there I'll do it a little bit further over and mark it out here. And I'm going to find that little mark with the hole of the D ring. Now, if it's very heavy, it's also you can tilt them up very slightly, and that also helps. But this isn't, so I'm just going to do it straight like that. Make a little hole. You can see that. For very large paintings, um, I've often used actually two of these on each side, a very thick cord or you can use wire as well, picture wire. I did try that at the beginning but I just didn't like it very much personally, it's a personal preference. Also you know this dips in slightly so the bit that dips in will go on the top You can get these from places like, there's a website called Lion Pick, which is Lion then P-I-C. That sells all sorts of framing things. And then you can probably just buy them on Amazon or get them at your local art store if you just want a few. I'm 
just going to measure out my cord, leave enough room. I do do it double, but I know you can do it single as well. Now I haven't got any scissors, which is a bit silly. Just wait there. You'll also need a pair of scissors. Preferably sharp ones. So now I'm going to take my two ends thread them both through one side and pull through the loop and thread them both through that side pull tightly, as tight as I can get it and I hold this piece here so it doesn't loosen off while just going over and under, pulling it tight. Then I go over and under that way. Now, if I could remember, I'd remember what kind of knot this was, but it's a very secure one that can't come undone. If I go over that way, and is it a reef knot? I should remember that, I was in the, the guides. And over this way and under there. And over this way, the opposite way, and under. So do it, you can do it a few more times if you want and you know, make the string a bit longer. So now I'm going to add a little bit of PVA on the ends. Just cover the ends in a little bit further up. Now leave that to completely dry. And when it's dry, you just get a bit of framing tape. This won't stick properly because it's wet now, but I'll just do it to show you how to do it. And then squeeze it round the cord and tightly wrap it. Just finishes it off nicely. Like that. And that is your D-rings, cord and corners. And that's it finished, ready to hang.